Hey guys, Enrique here, and I'm going to be walking through my process of creating my entry for Makeover Monday for this week in Excel. So you'll see that we have stop and search data for England and Wales uh, from 06, 07 to 1920, although the original visualization was only up to 1819, so that's going to be the data that I'm going to be using. Um, you'll see that I already have my data prepped for my table. So I have population and stop searches as, as percentages of a whole for these ethnicities, which were the ones that were included in the original visualization as well. So I'm going to start by creating this bar chart that, that you see here. And to do that, we can simply select the data and then go to insert bar. And you'll see that it's a 100% stacked bar. So I'll select that. And you'll see that it's a little different right now. All we need to do is here in chart design, go to switch row and column, and you'll see that we have stop and searches and population. And I actually want to invert these uh, because I like the effect of looking at the small wedge of the population first and then having it grow to the 22.1 of these stop and searches. So what I can do is select stop and searches here. I can go to right click and format the axis and I can just select the categories in reverse order. And you'll see that it, that what that also did is bump up our x-axis labels to the top, which I think is a little bit better because then the reader will read that first. So I'm going to remove the chart title. We don't need that. At least we don't need it within our graph. I'm going to make everything a little bit bigger here. There we go. I'm actually going to make this a little bigger as well. Try size 12 font. I'm going to remove the legend as I'm going to make my own afterwards. I'm going to remove these grid lines. And I do want to add these for the axis label. So I'm going to select that. Go to format the axis. We can add tick marks. I like them on the outside. And then to add this line, I just need to go to format, shape outline. And we can select one of these gray colors. We can do this one. And we can do the same thing to remove it from here. So shape outline, no outline. And there we go. And actually, we can, we can remove it from our entire chart as well. I don't like that Excel automatically adds that. Do that to the fill too. All right. Now we can go ahead and start thinking about our colors for our bars here. And you'll see that since these are all gray and muted, because we only want to focus on the black ethnicity, I added borders uh, to each of the sections. So I'm going to do that first. Select each series, go to Format, and in the Fill Options, you'll see that in the border we can add a solid line and make it white. We can go ahead and do that for all of them. Solid, it will default to white. White. white and I think I missed this yellow one here white and then we can change these to gray so I'll select that again and now in the fill options we want to leave this one as orange gray gray looks like I missed this one again and gray once more and if I close this you'll see the nice effect that the white borders have on the bars here one more thing that we can add is these data labels. I'm going to go, go ahead and select this one. Add data labels. We want to make these orange, bold, make them a little bigger, size 16. And you'll see that if we go to format, there's no option to put them on top here since this is a stacked bar chart. Uh, what we can do is actually drag them ourselves. So click on it twice, move it up here, on this one, move it up here, and you'll see that it adds these leader lines that we can simply remove right here. And there we go. So that's it as far as formatting in our actual chart. The next things that we want to add are all either lines or text boxes. So I'm going to start with the lines first. 
you go to insert shapes line press control and scroll to zoom in here you can add these there's one select another one there's two looks like this one's a little short and then we can select both give them that orange outline and we can drag this one a little bit to our left here. All right, let's zoom back out. And everything is looking pretty good. Next up, we can add our legend here beneath these bars. And to do that, we can insert a text box right here. And then we have Asian. So it's in, in this order. So we have Asian, black, mixed other and white make this a little smaller make it gray oh that's the background there make it gray and we want to make the black one bold and orange and then we can just use a space to kind of align these here as we kind of see fit we'll try to put them in the middle it's hard with the mixed and other since they're really small, um, but you can do something like that. You have white in the middle there, and you'll notice that this has a default outline as well. Get rid of that, no fill. And then for some reason, I always like to go to my text options and make sure that um, the text box is resized to fit the shape of the text can move this up and there we go now we have nice legends to go along with our bars so the final thing that we'll want to do let me look at the whole image here is to add this final text box for the title I'm gonna go again to shape text box draw this around here and we've got 22.1 percent of people that are stopped and search star black despite only forming 3.4% of the population and Wales in 2018-19 so it's nice to provide the context there for the rest of the chart and now the sizes and the colors are then to provide a visual hierarchy for the reader or viewer when actually looking at this chart. So we're calling this out as the most important, but also adding this information down here. So I'm gonna make maybe this size 14, go 18 here, and make these one size bigger, orange and bold. And then we can bolt this, this, and this. Maybe make this one sort of like a dark gray. Again, we've got those outlines, so we can get rid of those. And a nice trick, we can actually shift and select this as well, and we can align this left. So that's looking pretty good. Maybe we can make this a little bigger. And the final thing is to add the source at the bottom, which is a great best practice when creating visualizations. So I'm going to go add a final text box. Go source equals gov that UK. This was created by myself. And this is for makeover Monday, week 25, 2021. a little bigger bring this down here again let's remove fill in the outline it's a line left make this an even lighter font again to go with the visual hierarchy and there we have it this is looking pretty identical I think so we can get rid of this picture 
And if we want to turn this combination of objects into a picture of our own to maybe share, what I like to do is first add a shape, like a rectangle around it. Looks pretty good. This one we do want it to have a white fill uh, and no outline. Send this to the back. And then if we're in the shape format tab, we can go to the selection pane and you'll see that we have all of these objects. So our rectangle, the chart, the two lines, and then all three text boxes. So with those selected, I can copy them. And then if I select any cell, I can paste as picture. And then I can say this, oops, as a picture, if I wanted to, to make my own submission to Makeover Monday. So I'm going to delete that. And there you have it. Uh, I think this was a little longer than I expected, but I hope you were able to find some value in this chart build. And please let me know if you'd like me to make more going forward. Thanks, guys.